Hello, welcome to TechPath and today I'm going to show you how you can scrape the Reddit website. Let's get started. So now that we're on Reddit, let's let's get every thread, every uh, title of thread on the front page. So to do this, we first need to inspect the element to get into uh, the HTML. And let's see what the title looks like. Okay, it looks like an H3 with this class. Okay. So let's start. There you go. So for Reddit, we're going to need a user agent. So it's basically a, a string that identifies uh, your browser to Reddit so that it knows that it's not a bot. So first things first, we need to import requests. Then we're going to import from LXML, import HTML, which is basically going to allow us to convert the HTML to another type called element tree, which we can use uh, with XPath, and that uh, helps us to parse HTML. I have a whole video on that if you want to watch it. So let's do the request. So request equals request get. Let's copy this. There we go, and add the headers. So headers equals these headers. So let's remove these ones. There we go. Okay, now, now that we have this, let's get, so what was the, okay, it was an H3 with this class. So what we're gonna do is copy the class and we're gonna say, print tree that's what well, i didn't put it. so now we're going to create an element tree to do this we say we equals uh, html rest of content and then we're gonna get uh, the title so we're gonna print three at xpath it was an h3 with class uh yeah i think i copied it yes this one i want the text of it okay this should work let's see if it, let's see if it did no it didn't oh i'm stupid i forgot to add double slashes so that we want to get search for an h3 anywhere all right now it should work there we go let's see former colleague has been inviting yep that screams i lost the argument yep okay there we go we managed it now let's do something else let's go inside the thread and let's get let's say uh, some comments you know let's get the, let's get the comments the awards and i don't know dates let's get these three so what we're gonna do now is delete this let's see what the comments look like so i want to look for each individual comment class or division okay i think this is it there we go. So I want to get everything. Let's see if everything is in here. No. Okay, everything seems to be in this class. In the deeper, maybe no. Then we lose it. Then we lose uh, the text because it's further. And the text is here, so we need to go one higher. Okay, let's get, take this. All right. Uh, let's say let's do a loop. For a uh, common tree, uh, and we had a path. And what was it? It was a positive for the class. There with a class. This. There we go. We don't need the text. We want the elementary type. So now, oh, let's take the comment comment is a paragraph of this class okay so say uh, text equals 
uh, not three but common three because we want to continue basically three is uh, the whole html parsed but commentary is the only uh, one of uh, the comments so it's the one of the division it's one uh, it's basically one of this one of these uh, no it's one of where am i it's one of um it's the wrong place okay it's one of these this is one commentary there you go so text equals commentary at xpath and it was i think it was a paragraph not sure yeah it was a paragraph of this class okay good so paragraph a class this right now now we need the text okay uh, next let's get the date the date is commentary that is path and like um okay it's an a with this class a with this class okay oh i did an error now that we are on the comment tree in the comment div uh, we need to add a dot so that we start right after uh, we left where we left off uh, here basically we need to add a dot here dot here too and it was what was it again it was an eight for the class this and we want this a text okay let's also get the words where we have it so the words are here these are the words let's see um, so this one has two words okay this is these are all the words so okay that two right now okay, that two how can you get the name let's see how to get the name guess the name would be somewhere here okay. we can use i think we can use the image alt we get it right yep we can use the image alt okay so we're gonna say it's a div class this and then we want take the image out okay we can test this actually uh, right here in the chrome with an ex extension called the uh, xpath helper so we can use xpath in real time it's actually quite uh, useful so it was a div with uh, a class uh, this in space here did i write it no, no it was not the right class i didn't copy it okay let's copy it again okay there we go now inside this we want image alt so take this image alt okay yeah that seems to be working now we have 318 right here but that's because we're taking every word of every uh, comment but when we're in the code, when we're right here, we can only take um, the words of the comment since we're not uh, looking through the whole HTML. Okay, let's do this. Copy this and add this here. So words equals comment with dot here. And we don't need text here. That should work. Uh, let's say print um, um, you know what let's do an index here index enumerate there we go now we have an index uh, so this index so the first comment, and then let's say, write the date. Yeah, let's do it. Let's write the date. 
then the words and then the text all right this should work hmm. didn't do anything let's remove the space here it should work still not the issue here um, oh, of course, I forgot to change the URL. I didn't see anything. All right, let's change this. Now it should work. Or maybe it won't because of the space. I think it's the space again. Let's remove this, add the space again, and now it should work. Hmm. There we go. We have the date, zero, the date, we have the awards, and we have the comments. There you go. So, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. Thank you. Bye.